name is Jennifer Peterson and I'm the production manager here at Fireboard Labs. My name is Wendy and I am an assembler on the production side of things. Uh, my name is James Hicks. Um, I'm the machine operator here. I've been here for about three years. My primary responsibility is uh, making the boards. So a typical day here at Fireboard, I come in and I check every station to see what work was completed the previous day. Inventory tracking is a big part of my job, so every rack of boards that moves from station to station gets moved in our inventory tracking system so at any given time we can tell what's in what phase on the floor. We'll have our solder techs put the through hole soldering pieces in and then we as production people flash the information onto the fireboards or the yoders uh, with our flashing rigs. After that we'll do sealing with silicone to make sure that we're more water resistant. Um, after that, we go to conformal coating, which is another layer of water resistance. And then you take all of the bits and pieces and put it together and you get your final product. I suppose as typical as it would get would be just actually producing boards. So, you know, get here, turn on the machines, get everything warmed up, loaded up, and, and just start cooking. I, I refer to it as the machine, but it's actually three machines. It's a three-stage process. So the first step is a screen printer that uh, basically just squeegees uh, solder paste across the board in the exact spots where we're going to put components. Then the second step is the modular mounter and it picks every one of these little components. It's got eight little heads. It'll go through and just pick them up one by one, place them on the board, and then once it gets through that, it goes into what's effectively a big fancy pizza oven. It's an eight-stage heating process and that just uh, heats up the solder without melting all the parts and uh, fuses it all together and completed circuit board pops out the other side. To ensure that quality is maintained on the production floor, we have tracking sheets that move with every rack, and so the next station's job is to perform an inspection on what the previous station did. So from soldering moving into the flashing station, flashing techs are required to inspect all the soldering work. The conformal coating station inspects all the potting work, and vice versa. Every, every station that the boards move to, there is an inspection done by that next person. And it's the little details. So you see something that you've seen thousands of times and it's just a tiny little thing that's different but you notice it. That's what we do to ensure quality. We all work together to inspect each other's work and to inspect our own. But it's, it's just constantly double checking yourself, you know, verifying everything. You know, a lot of these boards I've built many times so it's almost second nature. So instead of a double check, it's a quintuple check or you know what I mean? You just you check it and then check it and then check it and then check it again. Consumer electronics in the U.S. is not that common. Very, very rare, especially for our own product. Contract manufacturer, they'll make for whoever. You know, anybody can send them a, a you know, little prototype board and they can turn out a board. Hobbyists can use them. But to actually buy a dedicated production line specifically for consumer electronics in the U.S. is, that's pretty, pretty different. The pros and cons of having another company manufacture our boards for us that's something we, we went through the first two years that I was here. We outsourced a company and they could not keep up with our demand. That's part of the reason we moved into this new location and got our own SMT line. The big number one for quality and going above and beyond for people is because we want the customer to be satisfied and happy with the product. And we want it to be a lasting product rather than something that, oh, something new comes out every year so we have to get it because the old one is downgraded. And that's not the situation here. There are still people using the original fireboard that, and it's still working for them. So to have that kind of quality after three years, four years of having the item, it's, it's pretty awesome to know that your customer base loves you for the quality that you put into it. We get a lot of positive reviews and feedback from people who just really appreciate the product. It's solving problems out in the market. Um, there was one guy, he had limited use of his hands and our product changed his life and he sent us this amazing story that we shared with everyone and it's stuff like that that you hear that just makes it all worth it. I mean, they're everything. They drive the entire process. I mean, they, they originally wanted a thermometer, but that's not enough. They, there's always something new, and you see, like Stephen uh, does all the, the programming on the app side, he's constantly changing things, and it's almost all based on feedback. Customer service and uh, customer feedback are pretty much the entire game. 
A team that will listen and change to the needs of the customer. That's what people are looking for and they don't know that that's what they want. So when they finally get it, it's an amazing product.